Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jin Empire walkthrough. Uh, we're gonna get some tea. Actually, we're not. It's uh, it's a little misleading. It's a tea house and uh, we can't get tea here. So, uh, a little bit disappointing, but not the end of the world. <laughs> uh, the tea house is kind of the... I guess you could call it like the main structure of uh, Tien's Landing. Uh, a couple of different side quests in inside. You know, definitely some opportunities to get uh, open Good. palm points as well we as... We left off Actually, it's mostly mostly open you palm points, really. With us first. Uh, nothing nothing much else. Uh, I, I guess you do get a... There's a decent gem in, uh, in here, too, that we can I'm get from, this eager to get from one of said side quests. And here we've got some thugs that want to get their uh, faces kicked in, which is no problem. We can take care of that. Uh, and here, I, I don't know if this is the only place in the game that you get the... I, I think they're called alternative lifestyle... Or alternative lifestyles. Nice. Uh, weapon styles. Um, those being... Let's see here. Uh, one of them is like the two hams. Why am I trying to hit Dawnstar in the face? Sorry. Some friend I am. There you go. So here's the, the hams. And it's basically a two... A two-handed weapon style, or like a, you know, I don't know, I don't know what you call, what you call that. It, it's got a limited time, though, if you can see the red bar uh, going down a little bit. And then I picked up another, picked up another one to increase the time. And I don't know if those keep respawning here or not. It's, it's kind of a, no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like there was only this one. Um, like I, said, I, I want to say that this is the only place in the game that you can actually use these. And here I busted apart the chair to get the chunks of wood. And uh, when the character, I think when the character picks up the, the weapon, he says something like, I'll improvise. So, I don't know, they're... As far as damage, they're, they're decent. They're more than, I, I believe they're more than a basic, like a, well, let's see, I've got Fortune's Favorite. Uh, the stats are up there on the internet web somewhere. I, I wanted, I want to say that they're like 35% more damaging than, wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. You know, and I can't even, I can't even squad in these guys anyway. I was going for the harmonic combo and these guys can't be... Can't, can't even use it on them anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, unfortunately, I think this is the only place in the game where you can actually use these uh, you know, Im improvised weapons. But uh, they're at least funny. I mean, you certainly look like killing Lady's dudes with hams is pretty, something odd about <laughs> pretty how good stuff. Feet. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Li gave me instructions to await you if... if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Li asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's Landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's Landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the spirit monk amulet too. 
Yes, Sun Lee intended you to find it. I was to tell you about it if anything happened to him. It was the last order he gave me, and I have waited years to fulfill my duty. My assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet. I will gladly answer whatever questions I can. I only know that I had to find the piece I was tracking. I did so. It is in the ruins. You must find it before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to help your master. The gates leading to the ruins are locked, but Minister Shang can give you the key. You can find him in the town square, the highest point in Tian's Landing. I suspect the minister is eager to have someone investigate the opening of the Great Dam. You can use this as an excuse to get the key and explore the ruins. You are wise to ask. It is a difficult but essential skill to master. If you power through an opponent's guard with its strongest attack, it can briefly immobilize an enemy. During this, you can concentrate and increase the restoration. If you use that time to attack with another style, be careful. Your opponent may not be as vulnerable as they seem, and one must never be overconfident of victory. My assignment is... It is said that the water dragon is the shepherd of the dead and a symbol of life and restoration. Beyond that is philosophy and not for a soldier to know. As you see, I know little about the celestial powers. I knew less before Sun Li asked this service of me. I thought such beings were beyond physical assault. I was mistaken. I don't know how the attack was made or what blade could cut the heart from a god, but I do know that any man who would attempt such a plan is arrogant beyond imagining. I am unimportant, but I promised I would aid you as best I can, so ask your questions. There is little to tell. I served him years ago in the Imperial Army. I was a tracker and a soldier. I was not at dirge when it fell, but I heard the tale of Sun Lee's death. But I refused to believe he was dead. In time, my faith was confirmed. He sought me out and told me what really happened. I swore my loyalty to him on the spot. I revere him as a teacher and I revere him. Even when he ordered me to distant lands, my loyalty never wavered. But I am tired. I long for an end to my service. Sun Li is a great man, driven by greater goals and ideals. Sometimes his gaze is lifted so high that he does not see what is right in front of him. We who serve him are sometimes forgotten, left to toil in obscurity until the time to act is thrust upon us. So it was with me, waiting for you. I cannot. I have done my part. I have given Sun Li my loyalty and devotion. Now I am empty. I have nothing left. I see an end to my long service. I welcome it. I will give you what guidance and information I can, but that is all I will do. That would be a question for him, wouldn't it? I can only say that Sun Li devoted his life to raising you to one day right the wrongs in the Jade Empire. If he wanted to keep some small part of his own life and thoughts for himself, who are you to question that? Everyone must have their private side. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. All right, so there's a little more backstory on Hui. Uh, right now, you can actually head all the way back to the campsite. And you'll get uh, another conversation with Sagacious Zoo and Donstar. And uh, I guess I would recommend going and taking Hello, care of that right greetings. now. Welcome. I don't believe My I did. Yanru, I think I actually... No, um, right. Right at all. I may have actually I'm skipped it. Now, not steeper, so, I, you know, I, like I may have that. missed a little bit I of dialogue there, the unfortunately. New position. Sometimes I wish old mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. 
Old Mother Quan used to run the place until Dutong bought it. Well, buy isn't quite right. It's complicated. Talk to Mother Quan if you want the whole story. I used to steep the tea here. They called me Steeper Yan Ru. But now Dutong says I'm going to be the new barkeep. And I'll have to give out advice and wine in equal doses. I can't say too much about him. He's my boss, after all. Mostly, he just sits in the corner and drinks his wine until he gets drunk. It's a shame Mother Quan had to give the place up. She didn't waste her days getting drunk, and she didn't make me practice giving out advice all day so I could become a barkeep. It's complicated. If you want the whole story, talk to old Mother Quan. I'll just keep practicing my advice. Sure. Just remember, I'm pretty new at this. I'm still practicing. Uh, let's try this one. Every bureaucrat knows a tree grows toward the light, but a rock grows not at all. I have no idea. Du Tong just had me memorize a bunch of wise sayings. None of them make much sense to me. Maybe they'll sound better if people drink the wine. Slow down, my friend. I can't serve you wine yet. I'm not a real barkeep. Master Du Tong just has me practicing, so I'll be ready when he turns this place from a tea house into a tavern. Master Du Tong wants me to practice giving out advice for now. He wants me to stay focused until I get the hang of it. No wine, except for him, of course. You want some advice? The wise man will always remember that falling leaves spiral downwards, but only until they rest on the earth. I have no idea. Liu Tong just had me memorize. Just remember what I told you. You never know when a bit of homespun wisdom will come in handy. Hello, young one. My name is Quan, but everyone calls me Old Mother Quan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Du Tong's tea house. Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Du Tong came to town with that imperial writ. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Du Tong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. No one knew. This was just an empty patch of rock for hundreds of years. Who would have thought the Empire had deeded it to anyone? But Master Du Tong came along with his writ. Now, why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Du Tong. That is very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Du Tong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. All right, so speaking with uh, Steeper Yanru and Old Mother Quan opens up the like the Hello tea house again. side quest. And, and I love I'm that guy's name, Three Sheets Duke. Du Tong. <laughs> this this entire game has some just insanely awesome names. Just like the ones in the Imperial City. That Imperial writ has caused us no amount of grief. Mother Quan lost her tea house. Waitress Yan Wan is busier than ever, and I spend all day giving out foolish advice. Mother Quan saw it, though her eyes aren't too good. Most of us didn't bother to give it a look since hardly anyone in the town can read anyway. What? You mean it, it wasn't real? That means Mother Quan should still own the tea house. Problem is, Du Tong's already shown everyone the writ and now he's got it locked away. If you're right, he'd never bring it out again. 
There's no way to prove he cheated Mother Quan. That might work. It would probably help if you get him drunk first. That's something I can help you with. Dutong's always having me send over wine. Usually I mix it with water so he doesn't get too drunk too fast, but I could start sending it to him unmixed. It won't be quite that easy. I've watched Dutong for quite a while, and when he's drinking, he usually goes through three stages of drunkenness. Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk at that stage. Usually after about seven bowls, he slips into depression and sorrow. He complains about how his life is worthless and what a bad and sinful man he is. Not a pretty sight. By the ninth glass, he starts to get paranoid. You can't really talk to him then. Usually around that time, I try to slip a restorative potion into his glass to sober him up. The restorative tastes pretty foul, but it does the job. Works instantly and makes a man sober as an imperial judge. Dutong's guard keeps a vial handy at all times, just in case. The guard gave me a few vials so I could slip them into Dutong's wine when he starts to get paranoid. Keeps him from getting out of hand. No problem. We have two sorts of wine here. Peasant's wine and imperial seasoned spirits. The peasant's wine is pretty weak, but that's usually what Dutong drinks. The imperial seasoned spirits are a lot stronger. One bowl of that is worth three bowls of peasant's wine. And if Dutong gets too drunk, I have the restorative to sober him up. Good, good. Go speak to Dutong. If he's not drunk enough or if he's too drunk, come back and see me and I'll mix him up another drink. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old mother Quan will be back in charge and I won't ever have to give out another bit of bad advice. I'm watching you. Don't try anything funny. If you want tea, have a seat. The serving girl will be by directly if I don't fire her first, a useless wench. I should have replaced her the day I took over this tea house. I am Three Sheets Dutong, proud owner of this quaint little tea house. I recently acquired it from old mother Quan, the elderly lady steeping tea over there in the corner. You want me to throw this troublemaker out in the street, boss? Don't be stupid. You saw what this man did to those sailors. He'd leave you broken and bleeding on the floor, and I have no one to clean up the mess. Forgive my guard. His intentions are good, but he's a bit slow on the uptake. I'd love to answer your questions, but that would interrupt my drinking. <laughs> I'm afraid that isn't acceptable. I am three sheets due to... I... Yes, good. Go away. I haven't even started to feel the effects of my wine yet, and you're already giving me a headache. All right, so the idea here, and unfortunately, you, you can't really get much uh, information out of out of Dutong, but um, the idea is to get a confession out of him. And uh, obviously, uh, like I said, so we're going to go with the uh, the open palm uh, version of this quest. Go speak to Dutong. We'll get it. And so, uh, like so, so the the idea is to give him. I believe it's you give him imperial spirited wine or imperial spirit wine, something like that, twice, and then give him the peasant's wine to get him at basically seven, seven drinks. Why waste dry and boring subject, my friend? Can't you see the drink is flowing? Look at how busy my tea house is. Isn't it glorious? Ah, uh, and then and then he'll <laughs> the, out of your mind. Enjoy the, the, party. the cool thing is Bingo. once you send him Enjoy that yourself. that final drink, Everybody he'll actually stand up and kind of kind of stagger around like he's pretty obviously drunk. And uh, that's you your that's your cue to uh, to go. stop sending drinks and then to go talk to him. One drink for Matt. So we'll see here One how I. Master Dutong, coming up. There you go. Anything There's the scene. He gets up and. Kind of stumbles a little, stumbles away. Most importantly, stumbles away from his guard. Good, good. Go I think that's really what uh, makes this whole scenario a little what more believable. You come to mock me? Because you know his guard would laugh at the tragedy most that likely the life try to uh, stop him from saying anything no, uh, incriminating. Not the writ. Let's not talk about that. Not the writ. Let's not change. talk about that. I love his slurring too. The voice actor did a really good job. I mean, I, the voice acting in this game is really good. Yeah, you know, I I really enjoy the game. 
uh, and that's one of the biggest reasons. Right. All right, so what did I go with there? Intuition, that's I believe. Um, I don't know if you oh, will get, uh, you know, open palm points back. or closed bad, fist. I don't think bad, you get closed bad. fist points even if you use uh, intimidation here. I think that uh, I don't I think you get any, any, um, you know, any sway you one way or the other. Uh, I better sober you up. It's more how you decide to handle the quest as a whole, as opposed to the, you know, just that, that uh, ah, oh, one dialogue oh, option. Oh, I hate that restorative potion. Oh, that stuff tastes like vomit baked wow, in a that's glaze descriptive. of goat hair and garnished with a sprinkling of horse dung. And now I have the strangest memory, as if I, oh no. Did I, did I say anything to you, stranger? Anything about, oh, I don't know, uh, an imperial writ? What? No, I never said any such thing. I heard what you said, Yutong. I knew you cheated Mother Quan out of this place, and now we have proof. You can't get out of this now. Ah, I see what you're after. Oh, yes, Three Sheets Dutong was not born yesterday, or the day before that. Indeed, we are speaking the language of commerce. I will give you a great deal of silver to keep this little secret from getting out. Lots of silver for both of you, if you keep quiet about this. I... I don't know, Dutong. I could really use the silver, but Mother Quan is such a nice old lady, I... I'm just not sure what to do. Right, of course. What was I thinking? Old Mother Quan's a good woman. She deserves to have her tea house back. Uh, uh, boss, people aren't gonna like us when they find out what you did. Maybe we should get out of here. That's the smartest thing you've said since I hired you. Let's go. Well done. It'll be nice to have Old Mother back in charge again. You should tell Mother Quan she got her tea house back. Now things can go back to the way they were. I knew you would make the right choice. We share the same master, and you taught us both well. So, uh, one thing that I noticed uh, quite a bit about uh, Hello, this Kim. game, and uh, really, the, at least, at least here, here for Chapter 2, is Dawnstar, if, you, if you're hauling her tomorrow. along with you. She'll make a lot of comments uh, if you're open uh, palm. Uh, uh, you uh, if, or sorry, if you if you finish quests yeah, with an open palm scouting. kind of slant, no she'll so say fast. that you know Master Lee would approve of you. And conversely, if you do quests with the uh, People, closed fist, she'll kind of reprimand you and say that you know uh, Master Lee would not have condoned these types of actions and this is not how Master Lee taught taught you to be so kind of a kind of inter interesting little you've given me back the only thing i ever cared about and you've done a service for this town too i'm going to turn this place back into a respectable quality tea house I don't have much. The only reward I can offer is my humble thanks. That and a promise that you will always be welcome here at Old Mother. Right, Quartz. so that pretty much sums up the uh, the tea house ownership side quest, I suppose you could say. A little jar here. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll see. Nope. Empty jar. I feel like I should have at least caused a little more property damage to this place. Normally I would try to bust all the vases in combat and stuff, but oh well. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's head upstairs here and we'll take care of some more of the side quests. Uh, there's, there's a couple up here. And here is Rue. Uh, the cool thing about taking or talking to Minister Sheng first days. is that you can kind of continue on with the the Rue again, dialogue here. here. If you Go don't talk to Minister Sheng and then you come up no, here first, sorry, you, uh, you don't. I don't believe you even me, get this this little drink. scene here. Two bowls of wine uh, where the the waitress, I guess you could call her. Basically tells you that Rue's a Rue, problem. I don't and, have time for this. I have other yeah, customers yeah. to take care of. <laughs> you you need have to, go. to leave now. So basically, he no, told I'm her really that she, he sure was going to take care now. of the dam. I believe I it was, so which is uh, kind of funny considering the, the fact that we we actually don't three. utilize oh, him in any oh. way to uh, to taking care of the dam. 
You will? But, Thank uh, the Emperor. I've lots of other The good thing you. about him is that he'll take you to the pirate uh, fortress. And, and I believe you? that's the only way and that you can get there. So basically there's three main uh, quests here in Tian's Landing. One is uh, the pirate fortress. Two is uh, closing the dam or leaving it open. Nobody however however that they ends up going down. And then the great forest is the third. But I'm not some useless old drunk. Just need a drink or two I'll to get my courage up for That's why I volunteered to go close the great dam. You just need a drink or two to get my courage up first. You can't be serious. True, my barge is the only way to get there. But the pirates are dangerous. Believe me, you don't want to go up there. Have some wine instead. Mad is what I am. A real loon. Especially when I've had my fill of wine, <laughs> like now. <laughs> Truth is, I'd be happy to take you up to the pirate's camp. If I didn't have more pressing business. I promise to close the dam and save the town. Truth is, I wish I'd never told anyone what I was going to do. I was a bit drunk when I said it, <laughs> but I can't back out now. Everybody thinks I'm just a worthless drunk, but when I close the dam, they'll think I'm a hero. I just need a few drinks to get my courage up before I go. You... you mean that, don't you? Well, I may have a bit too much fondness for the wine, <laughs> but I won't turn my back on someone who needs me. Let's do it! To the pirate lair! I'll make my way down to the little dock where I have my barge and get everything ready. Just meet me at Beggar's All right, Pier so in the southeast corner convince of Rue you're ready to go. To wait down by the pier, the only question and uh, he will he will like, be down there for when we now? actually are ready to and get uh, to the pirate's fortress, and that's actually the first here? of the three main the sort of storyline quests that ask? I that I like to take care of first because I like to loot the place, and uh, and actually I like to get there's a gem I've there called the gem the of the frail scholar, and it increases to hold the pole. or it's supposed to been increase the amount of experience. That you get yeah, when you life. read like the scroll stands and the books. A bottle of wine uh, I've heard or read the river. that uh, that more doesn't that, that doesn't actually do anything. But um, Not much more to tell. I'll actually have to. Just what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little needs. test and make sure that or confirm or deny that river. I really don't know what you I'll, think I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the video. But um, we're going to cut it here. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. I hope the guys are helpful. Hope you like them. And I uh, hope you keep joining me for more. Alright, thanks for watching. And a wine barrel. <laughs> but that's about it. I'm not real good at this whole question and answer thing. Good, good. I got lots to do before we go. Check the barge, check our supplies, sample the wine. <laughs> you never want to travel with bad wine. He seems sincere. It might be foolish to place our trust in someone so fond of wine, but I believe he'll be there when we need him. Remember, meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go.